So now I wanted to show you some examples from published SLR papers. We'll go through some. Uh, so this paper is fraud detection, uh, systematic review on graph-based detection approaches. This is their research methodology section, uh, research definition, what they want to do or their research questions, the methodology, how they are going to conduct the methodology part. So I'm, I'm, I'm only showing the methodology part of these papers. Okay. What were the keywords they used and how they screened their papers? What were the final number of papers that were there in the end? And what were their questions that they wanted to answer? In, you can also think this of as their uh, quality criteria. And finally, the structure of the paper. But what is interesting in this paper is this figure here is this is showing the systematic literature review process. So how you have started your research and the different stages of that and explaining everything in in detail. Okay, so if you see this paper is published in decision support systems is a top journal in the discipline. And when you look at papers from top journals that shows you the best standard in your discipline. So look for papers like those uh, and then incorporate things that they have so that you don't at least don't miss out on what uh, these top papers or top journals want in their uh, publications. Okay, so a, a process like this uh, is very important. Uh, and you may just follow the similar style here as well, you know, uh, or most of the things will will apply uh, in in your case when you're doing your SLR. Okay, and next paper here, they start off with stating that uh, this paper follows the Kitchenham and Charters uh, guidelines plus a few other guidelines and they have their review protocol has four parts, search strategy, inclusion, exclusion, selection process, data extraction and synthesis. And then the methodology section then delves down into each of these sections in further detail. So inclusion, exclusion criteria, they have it here. Search strategy is here. Uh, and then the other uh, two selection process and data extraction would also be listed. This is their selection process, how they selected the papers, stage one to stage four, stage one to stage four, stage five here and each and every step you can see what they have mentioned and what they suggest as the next step what is interesting in this one is i like this bit here so they started off with 950 papers then cut, reduced a bit more when they applied criteria another another reduction another reduction and interestingly to observe here is after applying the inclusion exclusion criteria they came down to 27 but then they did snowballing and then they jumped from 27 to 83. This is a good good way to show how you have screened the articles and progressed through the selection process. In here, the data extraction is shown using a table, research questions one to six, and then uh, their uh, criteria or the conditions, what they want to extract. And then they have followed. There's a one article reference here. Ah, so this paper, uh, reference 51 is what they have got this uh, idea from. So if you want to follow something like this, uh, you could follow uh, that. SLR phases, uh, you will see many SLR papers do talk about phases, um, phase one, phase two, phase three. Uh, when we started the session, I think I talked about planning, conducting and reporting. Those were the different stages. You, you'll see different, different types of uh, representations of that basic uh, explanation or the phases in your uh, SLR. So this is one example here. Phase one is planning. Phase two is study identification and phase three here is data extraction and classification. So in this one, they have not kind of a, they do not have a reporting stage. And this phase two and phase three is part kind of like the conducting phase of the SLR. Uh, another paper, IEEE XS, a systematic review on open source adoption factors. Here they have phase one, which is planning. So they mentioned what activities they did in the planning phase, what activity they did in the identification phase and what they did in the extraction and classification phase. So this is an explanation of what they would do in these different sections. 